Unlocking the Mysteries of English, Homophones and Homonyms in Context. Hello, language explorers. Today we're embarking on an exciting linguistic adventure. Understanding homophones and homonyms through context clues. We're going to unravel the mystery of words that sound the same, or even spell the same, but have different meanings. So how do we tell the difference? Context clues are our trusty tools. But there's more. We can get even better at deciphering meanings by looking for patterns and relationships. Context clues are like secret guides hidden in the text. They help us understand the meanings of words and phrases based on the information around them. But when we talk about homophones and homonyms, it can get tricky. Take bark, for example. Are we talking about a tree or a dog? Context clues can help us solve this riddle. The dog's bark was loud. The tree's bark was rough. Notice how the words around bark in each sentence help us understand the meaning. Now, let's dive into our main topic. Looking for patterns and relationships. Words often travel in packs, surrounded by their friends, providing us additional clues about their meaning. Subsection, patterns. Patterns are recurring structures in language. For instance, homophones or homonyms often appear in specific syntactical patterns. Consider these examples. She led the team to victory. The sculpture was made of lead. In the first sentence, lead is a verb following the subject, she. In the second, lead is a noun preceded by the verb was. Recognizing these syntactical patterns can help identify the meaning of the word. Subsection. Relationships. Next, we explore relationships. Words in a sentence have a relationship with each other. Understanding these relationships helps us decipher the meaning of tricky homophones and homonyms. The wind blew her hair back. She had to wind the clock. In the first sentence, the word wind has a relationship with blue, indicating it's a noun referring to moving air. In the second, wind has a relationship with clock, suggesting it's a verb referring to the action of turning. We've reached the end of our journey today, language explorers. Remember, context clues are your secret weapon in understanding homophones and homonyms. More than that, looking for patterns and relationships will allow you to see English in a new light, making you an expert in decoding meanings. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, the more patterns and relationships you uncover, the more exciting your journey will be. Happy learning!